All new at nine, the Alton Historic Commission proposes making the birth home of jazz musician Miles Davis a city landmark. Fox 2's Taylor Harris is live in Alton tonight with what residents and the city council have to say, Taylor. Tonight here in Alton, a public hearing was held to determine whether the birth home of jazz musician Miles Davis should be designated as a city landmark. 98 years ago, the house that sits on the corner of Milnor Avenue in Alton, Illinois, was the home of jazz musician and composer Miles Davis. He lived there for one year, then shortly after moved to East St. Louis, where he was raised. Now the Alton Historical Commission wants to make the house a landmark. Alton Mayor David Goins told Fox 2 off camera that he is for anything that promotes the good work that Alton residents have done over the years. Some residents are advocates for the landmark. He should be remembered and revered as one of our own who spread his wings and became an international icon. Without reservation, I highly recommend his birth home as an Alton landmark. The current property owner, Morgan Construction and Lawn LLC, is opposed to the landmark. He opposes the choice for it to become a historic landmark. It is not that we deny or he denies that Miles Davis deserves that, deserves that uh, honor. There is a landmark in Alton already. The difference in opinion is that it is a private rental, it is a rental property. Some residents are opposed as well. Leave it alone. People got to live in that house and they just came from, I don't know where they came from, but they need a house for real. <laughs> Miles Davis is known to be one of the most influential musicians in the history of jazz and in the 20th century. Davis was in the forefront of changes in the jazz genre for nearly 50 years. The statue behind me is the only statue of Miles Davis in the United States. There are a total of three in the world. The Alton City Council came to a unanimous decision to make the home of the landmark um, to make the home a landmark. Reporting in Alton, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.